WrestlingObserver.com. As noted in the opening segment of the show here today, we have no updates other than what WWE posted about Triple H. Underwent a successful procedure last week at Yale New Haven Hospital following a cardiac event. Episode was caused by a genetic heart issue. Paul is expected to make a full recovery. That's it. That's all we know. So best wishes to him. And presumably, uh, when we get an update, we will bring that to you. I would presume we won't be the first to have an update on this. So follow the uh, WWE Twitter, and hopefully we'll get some updates here soon. Vince McMahon was not at the Raw show this week. I don't think he was at SmackDown either. So uh, very likely that is uh, because he was with Triple H. But I don't know that for sure, but that would be my guess. And uh, all the best to Triple H. If you want to text us here today, you're welcome to do so. We got a lot of news. 425-780-7566. I normally look through my text messages to see what's everybody talking about here. And uh, one of the top things everybody is talking about is, yes, John Moxley and Minoru Suzuki on Dynamite last night. And, uh, I mean, the, the gist of the story is last night was one of those shows where it is abundantly clear that this company has absolutely no shortage of talent. They have too much talent, quite frankly. I guess I shouldn't say too much, because you can never really have too much talent. Uh, But, I mean, they've got so many people that they want to do so many things with that the elite was still in the ring at 940, and I thought, oh, man, it's 940, dude. And they kept doing their deal, and then they went to commercial, and they came back, and they did do the the quick rundown of all the matches coming up. And I'm looking at my watch going, bro, this show better have an overrun. And it didn't. And they hit Suzuki's music, and the fans are getting ready to sing. And then they cut the music, and they do Moxley's entrance, and he comes down to the ring... And literally, they got in the ring, and they start pounding on each other, and we went to a commercial break. And I know they got that little thing down there in the corner, but that ain't going to cut it, buddy. And then they go back to the ring, and we got like maybe three and a half, four minutes of John Moxie versus Minoru Suzuki. And then they just did the finish. It was like John just grabs him, and he gives him the death rider. And then he celebrates in the crowd, and they go off the air. I thought, man... How long is this guy going to be in town for? Can we do this again? Can we do this maybe at Arthur Ashe or something like that? But anyway, I was very sad. But yeah, there was a timing issue. There was just too much stuff on the show. And the main event, John Moxley, Minoru Suzuki, and John Moxley's hometown. And he's been looking forward to this match for a long time. Man, oh man. What can you do? These things happen, you know, and... Hey, it's like the the dynamite after the rampage where CM Punk debuted, where, you know, obviously people ripped that show, I think, pragmatically on paper. You know, they had a plan and they thought that plan was going to work. And obviously they came up short with that. Last night was an example of they put out a bunch of stuff, look great on paper. And it was a pretty great show, not only on paper, but in execution. They hit all the big stuff they wanted to hit going forward. They featured everybody they wanted to feature going forward. The problem was they only had two hours and they had a lot to do. And it ended up being a little bit too much if you were looking to sing Kazani Nare. Some matches, some other things felt a little bit rushed. In hindsight, that Dan Lambert promo, as always, is fantastic. Maybe they could have cut it. Maybe they could have cut Moxley's entrance down a little bit, not had him come out of the back. If Obviously, it takes away some of the effect. But again, it, it, they were just, unfortunately, they, they just ran out of time. And again, it, it's unfortunate because of how some things went. But for the most part, with the exception of, obviously, the big part of Minoru Suzuki's entrance that people would sing and the fact that the match was, it, it definitely felt rushed for anybody that's ever seen those two before. So... It, it, it was not a whole, you know a, a grand slam home run, but I still certainly think it was a home run of a show. MJF, uh, again, everything that that 
they wanted to accomplish, they accomplished last night, moving things forward. So that was definitely a, that was definitely a win. But yeah, it was unfortunate for those fans who, you know, they're they're going to have to go to the New Japan shows and see Minoru Suzuki face off against uh, Filthy Tom across the ring. They won't be cutting the entrance there. If you enjoy these videos, for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.